Well, everybody, and welcome to the first video on uh, First Church of Music regarding um, uh, gardening techniques. You know, it occurred to me today that uh, we need to do some hard pruning on our front porch garden here, and that's a great opportunity to show you uh, also the kind of an advanced technique I didn't know about until recently, and uh, so far I've been getting the results I've been promised <laughs> via YouTube and other sources, and uh, I think it's a really good idea. And we've actually designed the entire uh, tomato array um, uh, here specifically for hard pruning. Uh, before I get into that, I want to say a special thank you to uh, Kirby, uh, who got ourselves. Kirby Alexander who got uh, uh, our first round of pots for us and then I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right but uh, you know Hacks Greenhouse Farm on uh, Pine Grove and Craft because they had an excess of tomato plants at a super great deal and it was the combination of these buckets and um, access to about 50 tomato plants for 15 bucks that kind of launched this whole front porch fiasco. So uh, it's crazy how life works, but now we are well down that road and it's time to hard prune. We've already hard pruned once and it worked as promised, so we're taking the next step. So basically what you want to do is you want to get rid of anything that isn't going to bear fruit, right? You, you need foli foliage for uh, photosynthesis, so you don't want to overdo it, but, and that's kind of why, you know, we stopped at a certain point last time, but I'm just gonna sit here and, and do a few of these and show you the process and explain um, why you're gonna do it. So, so basically, the main reason you're doing it is you don't want, probably makes sense, you don't want something taking up nutrients and energy from the plant that isn't actually driven towards, um, creating a high yield and fruit. So uh, a plant when you, the second reason is when you kind of attack a plant in this way, it thinks it's being chewed on by some critter and it's like, oh no, procreation overdrive. And that again will also add to it. So uh, a lot of people know that you need to take out suckers and here's a good example of a sucker. They're usually found in the armpit, and they don't seem to be doing much. And sometimes an entire, once they get big enough, they can actually end up growing fruit. But by then you've kind of split the energy entirely in the plant. So when they're like this, you wanna just go ahead and finger snap them off, or clip them here, which I say for kind of the bigger stuff, this is the smaller one. And this is what we're doing here. Now I'm splitting. I'm running a little slit down the length of it as well. Real careful like on both sides. The thing with tomato plants is when you put them in water and whatnot and deep in soil, they will grow um, roots uh, on the stalk. Uh, sometimes they don't even have to be in soil and they'll start to. So we've also got this cool stuff. Root Tech, this is not an endorsement. It's just, you know, one of many varieties of cloning gel and it's the one we're most familiar with, so it's the one we use. And it basically gives you that good stuff right there. And then we have right here, basically a nutrient boost. Now we're using really top grade expensive soil. So the nutrient boost may be superfluous. A plant isn't gonna take up any more than it needs. It doesn't go past 100%, kind of like you don't with vitamin C and whatnot. So I'm just gonna start. I always, for me, I like to, when I have to do a tray of stuff, I imagine it like a book. So I start in the upper left, and go to the right, okay there, and then poke this through here. We found this pretty helpful little gadget. <laughs> it's a little tube. And then get this as deep as I can, and there we go. Okay, so we're not just hard pruning here. With the viable suckers and whatnot, we're actually going to root and create new tomato plants. Um, 
it is my mindset that we'll find a home for them. If we're gonna hard prune anyway, might as well save the, the viable plants and grow more food. We're going indoors uh, this winter, um, which is gonna be a whole adventure, um, but I wanna grow as many tomatoes indoors as possible, so we're just gonna grow a bunch of plants. So let's see here. Let's start right here. And generally speaking, you want to leave at least maybe one or two branches below the first flowers. And some of these don't even have flowers yet, but what will happen is I'm going to cut some of these off because it's got a lot, of, a lot of leafage up top here. And I'm going to cut these off and there will be a burst of energy, which is what happened recently with all of these. And that's how I know that this is, we're heading on the right path. So I'm just going to keep doing the same thing here. Cut off that whole branch. And so far we've found that the suckers are more likely to root. And I think that's probably because they're aptly named and perhaps they do a better job pulling up nutrients and making all that happen. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. I just know that we're gonna try to save everything and in any agricultural endeavor, if you are able to save, get 80% of your expected yield, it's a good year. Get those leaves off. Because again, you want to push this down as deep as you can. It'll make the roots and it'll just start off as a stronger plant because it has roots so deep. So that's pretty much it. Once again, trick to finding suckers, and if you're confused, if you're ever near the top and you're confused, just wait. Eventually, it'll make itself known. And some suckers can get, can kind of become their own beast. So if you get them early, yeah, see, here's another one right here. This is a big one. There we go. Right? So we're going to make a plant out of that. Growing food year-round. That's what we do. So that's pretty much how you hard prune. And then we have these fishing line here that wrap around basically the plant is going to vine up these are all indeterminate uh, tomato plants so they'll just kind of keep growing to the end of the season and they're just going to burst and burst and burst and way down on the other end there we're just starting to get our first green tomatoes uh, so I figure now is a good time overall to get rid of the hitchhikers and I shouldn't have been talking because another important feature is that the plant you just cut starts dying immediately. So don't get distracted. Get right to it. Every second counts. And when you think maybe it doesn't, that it's not that big a deal, you will be proven wrong. All right, so that's pretty much it. Um, I'll have a follow-up video that shows our yield, and but you know we're expecting pounds of tomatoes to be hanging uh, from these here shortly. So that's how you hard prune, and I highly recommend it. Uh, every video I've seen, it's worked out great for them, and they never go back, and um, and it's the new the new trend. So recommend it to your garden folk, and that's how you do it. Peace.